In this section we are going to discuss new comparison operator. This video is going to be about rationale behind new comparison operator. The new comparison operator, which syntax you can see on the screen, is also affectionately dubbed the spaceship operator. The name probably stems from it being somewhat similar to the shape of Darth Vader TIE Fighter from Star Wars. So let's consider this simple myInt struct. It holds an integer and we would like to have this struct to be comparable to other structs of this type and also to regular integers. You probably have seen the code like this before. To make my int comparable, we have to define all six comparison operators. As you can see, this is a lot of boilerplate. And is actually a very simple example because the production code would have to be different. We'll show later why. So in my main function, I defined two objects of that type and I implemented some tests of various comparisons. So let's see how this works. And all tests pass. But there are two examples that do not compile. One of them is comparison to actual integer, when the actual integer is the left side of the comparison. For this to work, we will have to define all these operators as non-member functions. The other non-working example is static assert. This does not work because our comparisons are not declared const expression. So to make this code actually production ready, we would have to move all those operators to non-member functions and add const expression and no except declaration. That would add even more boilerplate code. So that's the problems with creating comparable types in C++. We need to define six overloads. Those overloads need to be non-member functions, declared con expression and no throw, and that creates a lot of code. And there is no way to avoid this boilerplate. You can actually use boost to do it, but it is non-standard way, it is not always applicable. So, how do we do it in C20? So let's get rid of all this boilerplate code and create the new operator. Please don't be alarmed by errors shown by my IDE. It does not know this syntax yet. So, that's all. There is no actual implementation. I asked the compiler to generate it for me. And let's see how it works. And it does work. All the standard comparisons work correctly. But how about the other two that did not compile previously? And wow, those two work as well. I can now compare my type to actual integer and I can use it in static expression. Magic. We'll understand how this works in later videos.